happening? Play nicely. Are you good? I am stepping on so much sugar right now. All right, folks, this is not a drill. I'm gonna prepare. It's cookie time. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. For anyone new here, welcome. Today we are back doing what we do best, which is, of course, baking. Not just any baking, baking the best thing on the face of the earth. Yes, I said it. Chocolate chip cookies. For anyone new here, I am legitimately a cookie monster. I eat cookies every single night. Not even, it's, I'm not even kidding. I wish I was, it's probably not that healthy. I was exploring the internet for the world's greatest cookies, came to my home on YouTube, and I realized that the most viewed cookie recipe here on YouTube is actually one we have tested before, and that is Alvin's two-day cookie through Tasty, which is, don't get me wrong, an exquisite cookie recipe. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it for you guys. So I decided to go to the next place I tend to stalk, which is TikTok. Stalked on TikTok, that's a Dr. Zeus book that I don't want to read. And one of the more popular cookie recipes I saw on there is one where they combined cookies rolled up with brownie batter. And I thought, right? So I decided today we're going to combine the two day cookie rolled up with the 100 hour brownie recipe, which is Alvin's on his channel. Go and check it out. Pretty sure we tested that too. And we're going to make one gigantic just creme de la creme of cookies. The world's greatest cookie. I'm excited. So if you enjoy testing recipes with me and in particular baking ones, then make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We do new videos here every single Saturday and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and wanna see some more tasting and testing of cookies. And I mean, Christmas is coming up and I really extra like cookies around Christmas. But now let's dive into the two day cookie recipe because we got, we got some work to do here. And we are gonna start with the creation of toffee. Yes, toffee. These cookies are extra, they are no joke. And it's a pretty standard toffee recipe or melted down butter as well as light brown sugar until it gets nice and emulsified until you get that nice consistency. You wanna wait until the mixture hits around 290 degrees Fahrenheit, which takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Kind of spread it out on a baking sheet and stick it into the freezer for about half an hour or so. So that's where we're at, already done. Check that off the list. And I'm extra proud of myself. Another pat on the back. Because both the 100 hour brownie as well as the two day cookie both require brown butter. So I just did it all at once, so go us. And brown butter again is just one of those things that just eludes me in baking and I try to like stir it and make it all perfect. And I think last time I even burned it. I mean the cookies were still good, but I think a lot of you pointed out that like it was probably a little burned. So I had eagle eyes on it the whole time. And then when the butter is ready, it has this like really nice like nutty aroma to it and that nice like froth on the top and so once that was done, I added in some ice cubes as per the recipe to kind of cool everything down so it doesn't cook the cookie batter because you don't want to be banking cookies with scrambled eggs in them. And that sounds disgusting. And then I used math to divide out by weight how much of the brown butter was for the 100 hour brownies versus the two day cookies. And now here we are. Also worth noting, I doubled the cookie recipe this time. So if you're looking and you're like, wow, Rachel, that's a lot of ingredients. Yes, it is. I'm not gonna spend all this time making two day cookies and only have enough for like a week and a half. I was gonna triple the recipe, but I don't think Francesca can hold that much. Speaking of, let's grab her. Uh, yeah. Oh, Francesca, my old friend. So two hour large bowl. We are gonna add three cups of dark brown sugar. Oh my gosh, it's so much sugar. And then of course, because three cups of sugar is just not enough, we are gonna add one and a half cups of white sugar. Then four teaspoons of espresso powder. Your powder, how do you, you can't get stuck to a bowl. And then four teaspoons of kosher salt. He did mention in the recipe that the amount of salt was really important and salt in general is really important in baking because it just, it balances all that sweetness so perfectly and especially kosher salt, like not table salt, kosher. Kosher is the way to go. And then lastly, one teaspoon of baking soda, which I find interesting that we're adding it now versus in with the flour, but we're going with it. And now we mix. Oh my gosh, sugar explosion. Need like a cloth or something. Found this one. This is technically for pizzas. I don't know why. I think someone got it for me as a wedding gift. For me, for Chris and I. There's a massacre going on in there. What is happening? Play nicely. Stop spilling out everywhere. I am stepping on so much sugar right now. Okay, what's your deal? I feel like I just need to like break up some of these brown sugar bits. There's a 
apparently they don't want to play nicely with the rest of the sugar. Like the brown sugar isn't hard, that's important. I don't want like hard chunks of brown sugar in my cookies. They just, they need a little extra love, you know? That's fine, I can be extra with my cookies. Now the real question is, will all of the ingredients fit in this container? Jury's still out. It's okay, we'll find out together. Massaged my sugar enough. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Washing them again. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Or maybe not. What's going on? Are you good? Oh my gosh, Francesca, are we gonna have an issue today? You're gonna make me sift all my sugar, aren't you? Unbelievable. Well, <laughs> hold on a second then. Let's try this again. Was it the most extra thing I've ever had to do for cookies? No, I did have to remake that toffee that one time. Is that the most extra I will ever go for cookies? Probably not, but it's okay because we broke up the brown sugar. There was actually a couple of like rock hard chunks in there. So I'm glad I did it because that would have been a disaster later. Now, forgot where I was. What was I doing? Uh, oh, right, brown butter. Add in the brown butter here. Get all those delicious bits in. All right, now we're just gonna combine that together. This is working. All right, that's what we're working with. It smells like toffee, like that rich kind of caramel nuttiness to it. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. Mm. Okay, now we need to go on to a small bowl. I'm just gonna use the bowl that the brown sugar was in. And into said small bowl, we are gonna whisk together four eggs and four teaspoons of vanilla until it's nice and smooth and glossy. One, two, three, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. and four. Four teaspoons of vanilla, and now we whisk. Oh, I have to show you guys the cute whisk I got. Okay, this is the whisk we'll use because it's normal, but look at this guy. Look, look how small it is. It's like a whisk for a baby. The baby chef. Ratatouille mouse. Those are two separate things. You get it though, it's adorable. And I misread the instructions. The egg and vanilla won't be smooth and glossy but when you pour it into here and whisk it together, that will be smooth and glossy. Read instructions, Rachel. Okay, we are gonna mix that in. Mixy mix. Oh, my bad. You're probably all yelling at me like, the whisk, Rachel! Fortunately, I have an attachment for that. Do you look smooth and glossy? I feel like you might. Maybe a little more. Be extra sure. All right, that to me looks smooth and glossy. So now we're gonna fold in the uh, flour. So thank you, Whisk, appreciate you. And I'm gonna do a little bit of flour at a time. Well, not a little bit, like a third. And super important tip for baking, don't wanna over mix when it comes to adding the flour. It's going to make the cookies very tough and very, what am I doing? Very rock hard cookies and uh, nobody wants that. So fold in basically until you don't see any flour streaks. And now is also a good time to check on that um, toffee again because I went and checked it at the 30 minute mark and it was still very like bendy and I have to make it like shatterable. I'm excited. I'm gonna be like Thor but with baked goods. All right, that's looking real good, real good. Y'all thought I was kidding, but I have a legitimate hammer. <laughs> I'm excited. But I'm gonna go do that in the basement. So you're gonna come with me and we're gonna crush it up in the basement because my 19th month old is still sleeping. All right, basement. Where are you, Toffee? Oh, it's so dark in here. There she is. Ooh, oh. All right, hi, welcome to my floor. I hope this cracks, otherwise it's gonna be a very um, useless exercise. It is, it is, okay. I'm having so much fun. Okay, this is looking much better. Back we go. All right, we have toffee. But of course, it's not just toffee we're putting in these. I mean, it is chocolate chip cookies. So we are also folding in some good chunks of chocolate. This is a 70% chocolate bar that I cut up into chunks and uh, we're gonna put that in because obviously the better quality your chocolate, the better your cookies are gonna be. I mean, that's just science. That's cookie science. Chocolate and toffee. I think other than these few pieces I've put in, I'm gonna divide this dough and I'm gonna put toffee in half of it and then half without, you know, for options. Everyone likes options, especially cookie options. Oh my gosh, this is so much work. I don't work out, so this is difficult. All right, I'm gonna take out <laughs> a little bit of this. Maybe half, I don't know. Oh, I love it. So chunky. I don't know if this is enough put aside, but I'm going to say it is. All right, toffee. That's a lot of toffee, hold on. 
Mmm. Oh, that's good toffee. Oh, I'm real excited now. Oh my gosh, stick all of that in. All the toffee needs to be in this. Okay, so my plan. I'm going to spread out this one on a cookie sheet and then stick it in the fridge for a while to really like set before we put like the brownie batter on top. Cause I feel like they need to each be a little bit more solid before I can roll them properly. Let's get this cookie dough on here. Huh. And they need the dough to be thick enough that when I roll it, it's not gonna break, but not too thick that I can't roll it at all. Imagine if we just baked it like this. No, no, we have a mission. Don't get distracted, Rachel. Now thinking this through, this may be too much. It's gonna be fine. Look how awesome that looks. Okay, so I'm gonna go and stick this in the fridge so it can kind of firm up a little bit, and then we're gonna move on to the 100 hour brownies. Okay, 100 hour brownies. So the first thing we did was the brown butter. So I did, again, a big batch of it, and then I kind of carved out one third of that for the 100 hour brownies. And then to that, I added some espresso powder as well as, again, the ice cubes, kind of cooled it all down. And now we are ready. And we are actually gonna start, not with brown butter, but with eggs and sugar. So four eggs in. Done. And then to that, we are adding white sugar and vanilla. And now we whisk till silky and glossy and smooth and beautiful and ribbony. Let's see. Yeah, something like that. And now we can move on to some sifting. I also have a double boiler going with some chocolate and I am anxiously monitoring. So now, sifting. To this, we are gonna be adding half of a cup of cocoa powder another tablespoon of espresso powder because we did add the espresso powder to the brown butter. I don't know if I mentioned that. We added espresso powder to that. More espresso powder and a tablespoon of salt. Give that a little sift. Mm, it smells so chocolatey. I'm gonna give that a mix. Also stopping to uh, check on this chocolate. I'm gonna turn this down. Starting to look good. I'm setting a timer though because I will forget it's there. Mix this all together. Yes. I swear, if anyone comes out with like smell o vision and doesn't call it smell o vision, I might sue. Because if you create something where you can smell baked goods through a TV or your phone, that needs to be called smell o vision. There's just, there's no other options. All right, now we are going to add in that brown butter. Oh, now I need to check on the uh, chocolate that I forgot about. Okay, I think I managed to save the chocolate. I'm just worried I burned it. I think I'm okay. I double boiled it, it shouldn't burn. So that has cooled a little bit and now we can add it in. There's nothing like drizzling chocolate. All right, now we mix that in. Mmm, delicious. And now, now we add in the flour. Not a lot of flour, just a little bit. I really hope that these set on top of the cookies and roll. They'd be really big cookies, but I'm all right with that. I just really want it to roll. <laughs> also worth noting, now that we're talking about that, um, I did chop off some of the cookie dough and spread it out a little thinner because as many of you mentioned in um, a couple of videos back anyway, uh, John or Marbles has like a, a go, go big, Gene or go bigness gene. I don't know what it's called, but um, yeah, I think I have that. All right, that looks phenomenal. But are we done? No, no, we're not. We need more chocolate. Obviously need more chocolate. And we have uh, both milk and dark chocolate that we are going to be adding to this batter because it's extra. This whole, <laughs> I mean, this whole mixing of recipes is pretty extra. I think that Alvin would approve though. Alvin, if you happen to be watching this, do you, do you approve of what I'm doing right now? I hope so. Okay, okay dokay. So I think what I'm going to do now is I am going to pull out the cookie dough and we're gonna try and just put this on top and then put it back in the fridge so it can kind of set up more. So this is like set up a little bit. So that'll be a little easier, I think, you know? I hope. Oh, maybe there's a reason no one's done this yet, Rachel. Like, don't tell me this doesn't look delicious though. Because if you did, you would be lying. All right, I'm gonna finish spreading this out, stick this in the fridge, and then we'll be back with another round of Is This Rollable? 
Actually, scratch that, I changed my mind. I'm gonna try and roll this now. I took it out of the fridge uh, about five, six minutes ago, um, just to let it sort of come to room temperature a bit. Um, and now we're in an attempt to roll it. And I'm gonna roll it this way, so it's, hopefully it's not so aggressively large that, you know, I can make regular size cookies still. I feel like I have to do a really tight roll first. Roll the sleeves with this. Okay, okay, so far it's working. Guys, this isn't not working though. One of my harebrained schemes has finally come to fruition. But I did. This looks insanely good. Like I am really excited about this. Right? This is gonna be real good. Yeah. It's like, it's actually rolling it's too. Rolling okay. yeah. It's rolling okay. I mean, it's, it's, is it's it, so heavy. Is it kind of chilled or? It's like a little bit cool. I'm very excited. First of all, feel how heavy it is. Wait, that is a hefty roll. Okay. Right? Yeah. If you keep that paper down, I'll just, uh, <gasps> Oh my it. gosh. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so good. This is gonna look so cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Christopher, it worked. This might be the best cookie ever made. This is our redemption for the for the cookie cake we, tower. We agreed never speak of that. <laughs> what just happened? The cake! Oh my gosh. I think what's throwing me off was is that it cake tastes falling like... on the floor. <laughs> me tastes... too. That was the flaw in the whole plan. Okay, so now we need to wrap this. Yeah. And stick it in the fridge. This and a little bit of saran. Yeah. See you in two days. All right, we're back. The oven is on. I just grabbed the cookies. You didn't need to see this. Look at this giant log cookies. So now I want to cut into this and I want to see if it's swirly. Because that's, I mean, that's not all I care about, but that's part of it. Christopher, you're just in time. I'm invested here. Well, yeah. We all need to know what this ends up looking like. Okay, chop it. Stop it, no way. Does that look good or does that look good? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It is staying together. That ratio looks perfect too. Yeah, this is everything that I dreamed it would be. When does this ever happen to us? This might be the best cookie of all time. I, I, like I'm speechless. I am mm -hmm. so excited about this. Okay, you need to bake some. When can I eat it and is it now? <laughs> no, you can't eat it yet. I have to bake it, but the, but the oven's all ready. So we need to immediately put this into the Christopher, that's raw flour. You can't eat that. No, uh, I know. Does, hmm? Christopher, hmm? Don't, no spoilers. <laughs> so we have a bunch of different thicknesses here and then we'll just keep an eye on them and mm. then I'll track how long each of them take and then obviously which one is the clear winner. And then what? And then I'm gonna eat them all. Who? I'm going to <laughs> I'll let you know how they work. You can taste test them though. I'll allow it. Into the oven, these go. Hey, Christopher, are you ready to taste test this? So. Absolutely. Look at these exquisite looking, marbled, yeah. gorgeous. There's so much like texture and little nooks and crannies mm -hmm. and then oh, all that flaky yeah. salt. Yes. The swirl came out pretty well defined. Not too bad. It looks yeah. a little bit marbly to yeah. me, but yeah. like I'm not mad at it. Should we start? So that's yes. the yes, thickest. Yes, we should start. <laughs> so this is the thinnest one. This one took about 12 minutes. Okay. <gasps> Do you see that? Like, Oh yeah, absolutely. I appreciate your excitement for cookies. Like normally I could take or leave, but these look incredible. Unbelievable. Well done. Cheers. Stop. Mm. Oh, you really get the brownie. That is unbelievable. For a cookie with a lot of sugar, there's a lot of complexities. That's true, but also a lot of sugar. This is very sweet. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of depth there. All that chocolate is being brought to the forefront from the coffee and there's the brown butter and there's just like yeah the dark chocolate it's a little bit bitter really good and even that one being the thinnest cookie it still was so chewy did yes. you see oh, it absolutely this is the next one oh, look at that. unbelievable gosh it's the best day <laughs> mm. that's even better mm -hmm. wow that's good it's so much work but that's wow. the thing it is so much work you put in a ton into this there's a lot of work that went into this, a lot of love. But if you're like me and you're the only one that eats the cookies and you have a big roll of it now I'm in the fridge or freezer, oh. uh, they're impressive. 
cookies. But the, the brownie really comes through with this. Yeah, I'm tasting a lot of brownie. Mm -hmm. The big chunks of chocolate that have melted in, mm -hmm. you just hit a deposit and it's just like, yes. And then with the salt, mm -hmm. I'm very proud of this cookie and I'll tell you why. So I found a hack on TikTok um, by another girl who makes another amazing cookie recipe. And she said, while the cookie is still warm, take any sort of round cup, like a saucer or I use like a, here we go, these Pyrex containers. And while it's still warm, you put it over top of the cookie and then you just swirl it around and around and around. And then you get this like perfect round, pretty shape, like Pinterest worthy. That is like a bakery shop looking cookie. This one is a beautiful looking cookie. Nice level of thickness, not too thick. Now we have to open it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that chocolate there. I hope everyone is just running over to get the ingredients for this. Right? You need this in your life. All right, ready? Yeah. The bigger you get, the more brownie that comes through. And the ratio of chewy center to crisp outside is really good on this one. Mm -hmm. I agree. You do have that nice crispy edge, but the inside is just so soft, like a super soft fudgy brownie. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. Okay, okay, now I have to see the big one. Look at her. It's a hefty this, cookie. This is a work of art. Now again, this was cut real thick, but I think it's what Alvin did too. Well, he balled his cookies right, up, right. Um, but he made like really, really big ones. I think we need to break into this one. It's like every, oh my gosh, it's just like falling apart. It's so moist. It's such an impressive cookie. All right, let's see. Okay, ready? It's really, really good. Really good. Wow. Well, I, I love that you you had to leave because it was I so good. Back. But you had to come back because mm. it's just that good. Man, these are excellent. You did a great job with these. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You just have that perfect level of fudgy, got that nice brownie gooiness to them, but still have the integrity of a cookie, which I really appreciate. And I think that these are absolutely amazing. <laughs> they are so much work. So if you really enjoy baking or you want to try the best cookie ever, here it is. Mm. These are, without a doubt, the best cookie I've ever tasted in my entire life. This is unbelievable. <laughs> you heard it here first from the cookie monster herself. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more baking, cooking, recipes, types of things. And we do videos here every single Saturday. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And everyone's very nice in the comments. So introduce yourself down below if you're new. Or if you're not new, let me know how you're doing because I read all of the comments and I love hanging out with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah. Mmm. Those are so good. I'm just gonna eat all of these.